forest lived a rabbit, wandering all day long. All he did was jump up and admire himself. He loved talking about how much faster he was than the other animals. I'm the fastest animal in the forest. Would anyone like to race with me? He sure did run fast with his very big feet. The other animals hated the way he would show off. In saying that, they never ever won a race. Yes, I win again. Why? Because I'm fast. Everywhere he went, he would say, "I'm so fast, no one could ever pass me." His words had begun to disturb all the other animals in the forest. Okay, he might be the fastest, but the fact that he says and shows off about it's not nice. Someone should teach my lesson to smarten up. All that was said amongst all the animals in the forest managed to go to the turtle. The turtle walked very slow. It would take him a day to reach the distance the rabbit could make in a minute. The turtle wished he would come across the rabbit one of these days. He went to the other animals and told them that he would like to race with the rabbit. You want to race him? Not even the fastest animals have won against the rabbit. How can you? You leave that part up to me. The turtle went next to the rabbit. Good day, Mr. Rabbit. I have been searching for you. Curiously, the rabbit asked, "And why might you be looking for me?" I hear that you are the fastest animal in the forest. Well. Actually, that's what you think. But to be sure, I would like to race with you. Let's see who is faster. As soon as the turtle had finished what he had to say, the rabbit began to laugh so hard that all the other animals in the forest heard him. <laughs> you <laughs> with me? <laughs> A race? <laughs> Are you joking me? It's impossible for you to pass me. By the time you take a step, I would finish the race. Well, unless we race, we will never know, will we? Okay, be ready then. Tomorrow morning we race. As the turtle began walking away, the rabbit continued on laughing. <laughs> the following morning, the animals arrived at the race course. They noticed the turtle waiting at the starting line, all ready to go. Very sure of himself, the turtle was smiling. Please tell me how you're going to beat the rabbit. If he really is so proud and the big show off, as you all say he is. Then this race isn't going to be hard at all. Soon after, with his very stuck-up attitude, holding a carrot, the rabbit arrived at the race course. Let's race and finish this. I still haven't had breakfast. Finishing their last preparations, they arrived at the starting point. The first one that arrives at the red line at the end of the forest wins. With the mark of the mole, the race started. Just like an arrow, the rabbit flew by. The turtle, on the other hand, began to walk slowly. Whoa! The rabbit was nowhere to be seen. Watching the race, thought that the turtle was going to get beaten. After running a while, the rabbit stopped and had a look behind him. There was nothing to be seen. By the looks of it, the turtle will finish the race tonight. I better sit and finish my carrot. The rabbit finished eating his carrot. Looked at the road, and from afar he saw the turtle coming. With a cheeky grin, he stood up and continued on running. The rabbit had nearly reached the finishing point. I'm 
a bit sleepy after breakfast. I might sit under this tree and take a nap. As confident as he was about winning the race, the rabbit drifted off to sleep. The turtle continued on walking very, very slowly, but with great confidence. At last, he arrived next to the rabbit. He saw that the rabbit was in a deep sleep. Without stopping, he continued on his way. A while later, the rabbit woke up. When he looked and could not see the turtle... The turtle is nowhere to be seen. Maybe he doesn't want to race anymore. <laughs> I should finish my race now. As the rabbit was slowly making his way to the finishing point, what does he see? The turtle had passed him. In fact, he was about to finish the race. Using all the energy he had left over, he tried to pass the turtle. But the turtle had already finished the race. Some of the animals waiting at the finish line were extremely happy. All the animals were throwing the turtle up in the air with great excitement. While the rabbit stood in the corner with great sadness. Turtle, the winner of the race, walked towards the rabbit. Mr. Rabbit, the important thing is being consistent about everything that you do. To brag with nonsense and love yourself is weakness. I beat you not because I was faster, but I was wiser and did what I did seriously. You're right. From now on, I will stop bragging about being the fastest amongst everyone. I should return now. My home is a long journey away. The turtle smiled and continued on his way. The rabbit learned a good lesson and noticed his mistake. After that day on, he never ever bragged about himself, nor did he ever race again. Once upon a time, there lived an old couple in an old small shack next to a forest. They were living a happy and peaceful life. Their only regret was not having a child of their own. One day, when the old lady was making cookie dough in the kitchen, her husband came in. Darling, what are you cooking today? Oh, my darling, I'm baking a gingerbread man today. The old lady kneaded the dough and cut a gingerbread man shape. After putting it in the oven, she sat down and started to wait for the gingerbread man to bake. When she could smell the delicious cookie all around the air in the kitchen, she put on her oven gloves and took the gingerbread man out. Now it was time to decorate it. She made eyes out of raisins and a cute nose using candy. And then she used some cream to make his hair and clothes. And lastly, she used cherries to make some buttons for him. She had a look at her masterpiece and said, My gingerbread man looks beautiful, but I feel like something is missing. The old lady looked at him again and, Oh, his mouth! I forgot to make his mouth. She drew a mouth on the gingerbread man's face with the cream. Oh yes, now you are complete, my gingerbread man. At that moment, something unexpected happened. Thank you! But, but how can it be you are talking? Gingerbread man suddenly stood up and started running. Yeah, and I can also run! The gingerbread man jumped from the kitchen bench to the chair, then to the ground and started running fast to the kitchen door to the garden. Come back! Come back! The old lady yelled. The gingerbread man began talking whilst he was running. Yeah! Run, run! As fast as you can, but nobody can catch me! Because I'm the gingerbread man! The 
old lady got out to the garden and started running after the gingerbread man. The man looked out the window and saw his wife running and yelled. Hey, where are you running? The old lady answered to her husband whilst running. My gingerbread man ran away. I'm trying to catch him. The old man was speechless. The old lady ran, but the gingerbread man was so fast that it was impossible to catch him. After a short while, the gingerbread man came across a ranch. A grazing cow noticed him. Oh, what a nice cookie! I should catch and eat him! The cow also began to run after the gingerbread man. Wait! Don't run! I'm gonna eat ya! Yeah! Run, run as fast as you can! And all ladies also trying to catch me! But nobody can, because I'm the gingerbread man! The old lady and the cow were running after the gingerbread man. And at this time, a pig noticed the gingerbread man. A gingerbread man, true to my taste buds. Wait, and I will catch you. The gingerbread man answered the pig whilst he was running. Yeah, run, run as fast as you can. An old lady and a cow are also trying to catch me. But nobody can because I'm the gingerbread man. While they were running, the gingerbread man in front, the old lady, cow and the pig behind him, a chicken noticed the gingerbread man while looking for some food. That has to be my lunch. So the chicken tagged along. Run as much as you want, gingerbread man. I'm going to cut you. Yeah, run. Run as fast as you can. An old lady, a cow and a pig could not catch me. Neither can you. Nobody can, because I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man in front, the old lady, cow, the pig and the chicken, they all continued to run. But the gingerbread man was getting more and more further ahead from the others. The gingerbread man was so happy and very proud of himself. I'm the brightest and the fastest gingerbread man in the world. Yes, that's me. Nobody can catch me because I'm the gingerbread man. When he looked ahead, soon the gingerbread man saw that he was coming across a river. And he stopped because he knew that water could make him melt away. Oh, no. oh what now? The old lady, cow, pig and the chicken were close now. Right at that moment, a shifty fox appeared from behind a tree. I know how to swim. If you want, I can help you. The gingerbread man thought about it. What if you eat me? You don't have to worry. I don't want to eat you. I just want to help you get across. The gingerbread man trusted the shifty fox and jumped on his tail, holding on as tight as he could. The fox jumped in the river and began to swim. Meanwhile, the old lady, cow, pig and the chicken came to the edge of the river and saw the gingerbread man crossing the river on the back of a fox. Helplessly they watched them go, knowing they could not catch him anymore. The river began to get deeper and the water started to rise. Hey fox, keep your tail up, I almost got wet. Up on my back, it's safer. The gingerbread man hopped on the fox's back. They swam for a while, but as the water got deeper, the fox's back began to sink in the water. I'm afraid that you'll get wet. Why don't you jump on my head, where it's a bit higher? The gingerbread man climbed up on his head. The fox continued to pursue his plan and dipped his head down in the water. The water has risen too much. Why don't you get on my nose? It's higher. So the gingerbread man got on top of his nose. Right when they were about to reach the shore, the fox tipped his nose, flipping the gingerbread man into the air and opened his mouth. The gingerbread man was going to fall into his mouth and the fox was going to eat him. But it didn't work. While the gingerbread man was in the air, a crow flying right above them caught the gingerbread man with his beak. The fox just stood there looking with his mouth open. The gingerbread man waited for the crow to fly a little further and asked, Do crows eat ginger cookies? Yep. When the crow opened his beak to speak, the gingerbread man fell down and began to run as fast as he could. 
Yeah! Run, run as fast as you can, an old lady, a cow, a pig, a chicken, a fox, and a crow all are trying to catch me, but nobody can because I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man kept on running and did not stop. If you see a gingerbread man pass you by running, do not try to catch him because he is the gingerbread man and nobody can dare catch him.